Riverton is a dear little town beside a river, but it's much more than that. It has some of the country's best surf. It's got the biggest power in New Zealand. And it's the home of New Zealand's best camp. Take that, Ponsonby. Oh, sorry. But not only is it that, it also has a thriving, vibrant, community and I want to find out about these artists. Let's go. Oh and look here they are a group of colourful artists. How are you all? Now let me ask you what is it about Riverton that's so appealing to artists? It's a hard one. Um, like I've been here all my life but um, I get to go and swim with the dolphins like yesterday um, and people pay money to do that. I get it to do it for free and I find that so inspirational, um, being in nature, paddling out in sea, surfing and stuff like that, that's the reason why I live here. Because their sky is absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's mm. just brilliant. Totally. Yeah. yeah. It's the clarity in the air here. Beautiful. This is the last frontier, and um, we do. We have fabulous light for looking at things, and the evening glow on the water, and you can go and get yourself your mussels and your power and your flounder and your pig and whatever else you want to eat, and um, basically the people are just fab. I think it's an inspiring place. You don't have to be a certain kind of artist. You can be anything you want to do, which means you can delve into any ideas that you have. You don't have to get held up by what's in fashion or you, you just do what you want. You're inspired by what you see by other people and that may, lets you go. The local people have just been amazing. Um, as a potter, I can go to farms, somebody will have a digger making a, a ditch or something and they'll ring up and say, hey, we've got some funny looking clay here. Do you want a couple of buckets? And they'll bring it to me. So the whole place is arts oriented, but it's not snobbish. Anyone can come and everybody does. Um, I'm just a student and I can tell you that I just picked up a paintbrush last year and uh, I painted 12 pictures. And I went back for six months to our other planet and I couldn't, I couldn't paint anything, so there must be something very free and releasing here as far as my personal creativity, I guess you'd call it. So I like Riverton. It is the liberating atmosphere. And because it's the, uh, you know, it's the end of the earth and the next stop is Antarctica, it's, uh, you know, when the wind blows just enough to keep the tourists down, it's marvelous. <laughs> Well, I live on a farm in the mountains the rest of the week, so for me it's coming down here to the coast, to the ocean, to the sparkling sea. It's, it's just tremendous. It just feeds me. For me, it's a little piece of paradise um, that I've especially chosen, actually, after about 25 years of searching, and this, for me, is sort of New Zealand's last bastion, the last, yeah, the last truth where there's no pretentiousness you're allowed to be completely free and as, as an outsider artist, that for me is perfect. And the people here, the community, um, Riverton Arts Centre, all the way, ask Don McGlashan, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Just fantastic. For, for such a small community, the wealth of talent is amazing. Well, it's a watercolourist's dream, Riverton. Um, the colours of the skies and the sea. It's just beautiful. It is paradise. Right, you three. I understand that you're the movers and the shakers of the Riverton Community Art Centre. Why do you think you've got such a vibrant art scene here? Well, I just think you look at the, the artists. 
and looking at the work that's around, and we can't help but have a really vibrant art scene. We do plays, we do musicals, we do, we work with arts on tour. We've just had an, a, a musician from London contact us and when he comes to New Zealand next year, he wants to bring his show here to Riverton. Um, so, you know, we're out there. You know, people in Auckland probably don't know the great things that happen down here at the bottom of the island. Mrs. Clark, oh. best cat I in know. all of New Zealand. Crazy. How does that make you feel? I'm very proud, actually. Yeah, it does make me feel very proud because we are in a very small town and it was a big risk for my husband and I. But um, we loved it here and saw a business opportunity and um, didn't give up on it five years down the track. So, yeah, best. I always thought we were best and my customers knew it. So um, we knew something special was happening and yeah, lots of hard work and enthusiasm and yeah, we got recognised for it. Was it just a happy accident that got the artist all coming around here? It's like um, a wee hub. It was actually because when we opened we didn't have a lot, Pat and I. We had the enthusiasm and a coffee machine and a till and so we had lots of empty walls and it's a big old building. So yeah, it was really nice to know that I'd come to a place that had art and lots of fabulous artists. So literally people just walked in and said, oh, could I put my artwork up? And I was like, please do. Yeah, it was a very happy accident actually. It just collaborated and it's been wonderful. Mm. It feels like home sitting here. Yeah, it does. And that's what I wanted it to feel like. Riverton's the place to be. I and want to come. People, yeah, move here, come here. <laughs> What a idyllic place. Oh, it's fabulous. And it's where I used to play as a child. We'd go to Gummy's Bush fishing, and then we'd go around to the rocks at Riverton. It was just... The, and it, it's quiet and it's peaceful, and people are starting to go back there. How did you feel going back after being there as a kid? Oh... Has it changed? Well, no, not really. But it's still the same. Yes, it's got a lovely... Well, it was only thing. 10 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it's called the <laughs> Riviera of the South and it's a marvellous place and you must go and visit. Where to next on your travels? Oh, I think I go to Tuatafari. That's where I was born. Oh, wow, the birthplace. Thank you so much, Esther. My pleasure. Enjoying those stories. Um, coming up, the stars share...